Hello, um, just a quick update really. Um, getting back into the painting, obviously after Christmas and New Year and everything else. Um, well, it's fair to say the Napoleonic bug has bitten, uh, has bitten at last. Um, I've had these figures for a while and I've been putting off painting them because um, I knew once I started then uh, I was getting into something pretty big. But the good thing about now is I've decided I'm going to be using them for sharp practice, not some mass battle game, so that uh, means I shouldn't need to paint anywhere near as many. Um, so that'll make things a lot easier. Um, but yeah, these are the French um, Voltigeurs, obviously. Um, in sharp practice, they play, you can play them either as sort of a six man skirmishing unit or an eight man, um, just nine stroke Voltigeur unit. And that's that, That's what these are going to be. Um, again, these are something I need for a game I've got coming up um, next month. I just need a, a few extra figures to, to bump up a force somebody's lending me. Um, I haven't done the Big base yet, as you can see. I need to order a few more of these, and I'll do, do, do a few of them together when I get when I get when I get them. Um, this was just the sort of last one left over. Um, didn't seem worth doing one on its own. Um, yeah, so yeah, like I said, Warlord Games plastic figures. Obviously, I'm sure uh, everyone's seen plenty of these around in different places. Um, yeah, really enjoyed doing them. To be honest, they're nice figures um, for the price and everything else. Um, you can't really argue with them. The only thing I would criticise a little bit but it's very very minor one of the poses I think the hands were in a lot of detail going into the hands so you had to sort of paint your fingers in a bit yourself which was a bit a little bit tricky um, no sort of sculpted detail very little sculpted detail there to work with but yeah that's the bottom of the hand no one's really seeing that anyway so uh, not a huge deal but yeah basically uh, basically nice figures that paint up okay I think um, they go together quite easy as well I'm sure most of you have uh, plenty of you have had a play with them in the past but uh, there's not a lot to do really, you just stick the backpack on and the head and that's about it, um, they're done. Um, so yeah, all pretty straightforward and uh, pretty good to do. Um, yeah, not a little so really, I'll perhaps put some stills up at the end, but I've tried to paint a variety of coat colours and um, Shaco covers and various things to give them that sort of campaign look. That's the, that's the way they paint them up on the box and I thought it was quite effective, so uh, yeah, I went along with that. Got a few different colour um, trousers in there as well, just to sort of uh, say, just 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 make it look like they haven't just stepped out the the fit the uh, uniform fitters, uh, make it look like they've seen some action. So hopefully I've pulled that off. But yeah, no nice figures. I'll stick them up at the end um, on some stills, as I say. Um, the other thing I thought I probably ought to cover. Everyone seems to be doing it. So uh, the old uh, P Becker's file. Um, I believe I've got three minutes to cover that. So. Uh, I won't try and do the whole video in three minutes because I'm nearly there already. But um, yeah, just throw in a couple of very quickly comments on that. I've been watching everybody else's and um, there's some, some interesting conversations going on. Um, as far as uh, min uh, miniatures games, well actually before I say any more on that, I've, I've only been back in the hobby about four or five years now. So uh, my uh, insight into the last decade isn't um, that doesn't cover the whole decade really. Um, but based on the games I've been playing most um, the last year or two, um, it's going to be it, it was a real tear, tear up between um, sharp practice and to the strongest. To be honest, be hard pick to, to, to pick a favourite. Uh, enjoy them both. Um, yeah, so either of those. Uh, you catch me on a different day, I'd give you a different answer probably. But it would be one of those two. Um, really, really good fun games that I'm really enjoying. Um, quite a few people at the club, various clubs I go to who are, who are up for the games so uh, yeah I'm getting plenty of them in um, and as you can see from the videos I've been putting up the last couple of years they're the, basically what I've been concentrating on uh, painting for um, and yeah no really enjoying both games. Um, as far as uh, board games are concerned I do play a fair amount of board games to be honest one of the clubs I play at is it's a combination of board games and miniatures games so one week I might do one one week I might do the other it depends what's going on and what sort of mood I'm in um, but uh, if I had to pick a board game the ones that I really enjoy most of all I think are probably the commands and colours ones to be honest um, war game in a box aren't they they play really well um, they're, they're, they're quite abstract but I think you do get a, you do get a reasonable game out of them with a bit of a feel for the period um, I play quite a bit actually I'm, as well as sort of face to face games I'm in an online league um, playing over, over over the internet on uh, Vassal, um, yeah, I play uh, Napoleonics and an Ancients League, and I play sort of a game of each a month at least in that, um, and various other games that I pick up along the way. So uh, yeah, it's a really good games. I think um, again, if I had to pick one of the two, I'd probably pick the Napoleonics, but uh, they're both great. Um, there are other versions of Command and Colors around. I'm tempted by the medieval one, but um, it's enough hard enough sometimes to keep um, keep 
two rule sets in your head. Um, so maybe a third set of, I mean, but the basic rules are the same, but there's lots of different little quirks and uh, foibles to each each set. So uh, trying to throw a third one into the mix and remember that would probably be quite tricky. But um, yeah, I'm sure I'll probably get to it one day. But yeah, no, definitely commands and covers. I do play quite a few other board games as well. My wife plays a few board games as well. So a few other things that non non war game related things like um, Wingspan is an amazing game. Nobody's tried that. Um, wife recently bought a game called Everdell as well. Everdell, D E W L. -L. Um, amazing game. It um, it looks really cutesy and kiddish, but it's got, it's actually got a real lot of depth to it and a lot of strategy going on. It's not not for children at all. It's a very 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 um, deep game actually. Yes, yeah, so we play things like that. Um, all good fun. Um, yeah, computer games. I don't really do so much in that uh, in terms of computer games recently. I think um, if I was to pick the game that I spent the most time on, it would be um, a bit dull. One of the old um, Football Manager games. Oh, yeah, for years and years I used to buy that every year and spend ages on it. There's nothing better than getting Gillingham to win the Premier League or in the Champions League. <laughs> so that used to be very satisfying. I think one of the reasons I got back into this hobby, to be honest, was to get me off of that. Um, and it has worked. I haven't, I haven't bothered with it for the last couple of years. But uh, it was an amazing game that I had a lot of fun with over the years. These days I've, I've got a PlayStation and mess around occasionally. Um, really enjoy the Assassin's Creed. Um, Red Dead Redemption or Grand Theft Auto, any of those really. I haven't played. I don't play loads on the PlayStation, but when one of those games comes out, I tend to pick them up and play them. Um, I've got a couple queued up at the moment. I've got the last couple of As Assassin's Creed there and uh, Red Dead Redemption as well, which I did st uh, the second one, which I did start and got a little bit of a way into, and then I sort of fell out of. But one day I'll get back into that properly. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's it really. Um, very very short and sweet. I don't think I did keep within three minutes actually even just for that bit but never mind um, I had a go uh, I'm not going to re-record <laughs> um, but uh, yeah that's it really just uh, say a brief update and a uh, bit of admin as far as the um, favourite games is concerned and uh, yeah I'm doing a bit less painting than before I've got an exam coming up next month that, um, that I need to, uh, to to do a bit of work for but I'm doing a little bit here and there and uh, once I get through that exam then uh, full steam ahead again hopefully um, so yeah that's me um, Happy New Year to everyone, this is the first video of the year, I hope it's not too late to say that, but uh, say first video of the year, it feels justified, so Happy New Year. I um, hope everyone's uh, getting their plans ready for the next year and knows what they're going to be up to, and uh, all the very, very best with it all. Um, take care, thanks for watching, subscribing, everything else, and uh, I'll catch you again another time. Take care, bye bye.